Welcome to Cubo Talk. My name is Marvelous Achafi. And this is the breaking news segment. This is, we've been focused on the topic. So Zamani was accused of being, uh, accused to have titled a particular guy in Abuja. And normally we don't do, these are things that we don't really indulge in. But because Zamani came to us and we want like a first set of story, he told us that he wants like the guy to come on and he should come on and he should state their grievances and According to our last episode, they said that the guy render an apology and give him some sort of compensation, they would return all the guy's property. So we've been trying to get the guy through, as we are updating you guys, we've been trying to get the guy through, but we've on, it has proved to no avail. If you guys know, we had some drama with Kito Dario in the comment section when I also told them that I would please need the contact of the guy. But till now, Kito Dario never gave me the contact of the guy, he never gave me anything, any lead towards the guy. And also, he has made a video concerning us, calling us um, just the uh, lame, lame ass, uh, is it lame ass podcasters? For, uh, it's obvious I don't know the difference between the YouTube the YouTubers and podcasters, because we're not podcasters, we're YouTube. This is the money. Good afternoon, guys. Good afternoon. Come online, come online. Yes, I'm back again. You don't justify what is not good. Stealing is not allowed in this community and it will never be allowed. Good afternoon, guys. Come online. I'm about to I'm about to play this, this live, this um, voice record, so you all can listen to it. I don't care what people say. Zamani, you said um, when Phil reported that, reported your case to me, of course, you did, you did contacted me. You did. But there is no point, there was no reason for me to give you a listening ear because you are a thief. You are a thief. Zamani, I don't care whoever you're going about saying nonsenses about me. The bottom line is that you are a thief. Okay, guys, welcome on board. I'm about to play this live, I mean, this voice note, so you all can listen to it. And if you have ever come across any video where they have mentioned my name, trust me, I will continue to be their boss. Truth never dies. I will continue to stand on the truth. I will continue to stand on the truth. Mona de Yeo. And before I start playing this, take notes that all these people that are going into prostitution, I get markets, I get this thing, blah, blah, blah. They have, they have tendency of stealing. When you meet people, eat them. If there's any bargain, you pay them and let them do what? Let them fuck off. Zamani that claimed that this guy, the bargain that he was going to pay him money. Come and listen to the to what the guy has to say. A lot of you have been saying, yes, I don't give you listening away. I don't, I don't, I have zero tolerance for fuckery, for nonsense. Before you come to me, I know you're already lying. Yeah, Koshi can get out. I'm a bagalori I want to know something now. Did you invite Zamani for sex or or what? I want to know something now. I want to get it clear. I'm asking you for the second time now. Don't contradict yourself. Pay, see, oh, oh yes, okay. Go well, straight to the point. Your question directly. I did not pay the money for sex. Did you know? My question is: Did you invite him for sex? No, I didn't. Okay. So how how come the money was involved? I want to know why was that a bargain? What? Did you guys bargain price? 
No, let me explain myself now. Oh so yeah, go straight yeah. to the points. I'm listening. Okay, so on Tinder, um, I chatted him up on Tinder and the conversation was actually really short. I told him that, oh, I'm no longer in Lagos, I'm now in Abuja. Yeah. And then he was like, that, oh, that he, has, he even wants to come <laughs> to the Abuja. That uh, the problem is he's even short on money and all of that. And uh, most of the conversation happened over the phone because the Tinder conversation was just very limited. Then he sent, I asked for his number and I called him. Okay. He told me he was supposed to come down to Abuja, that there's this man he wants to meet. That when he comes to Abuja, that that man is supposed to give him some money and will help him out with the money that he will use to go back to Benin. Okay. That if I can just assist him with some money, that's the money, right? He'll come and spend a day or two in my house. That's the money. Before he goes to the man's house. He said he was coming with GIT, and I told him that, oh, GIT is at Utako, and I stay at Chabi, that is just a stone's throw from my house. So it would be easy for him to even just come to my house first before going to the man's house. He asked me for some money. I told him that this period is very rich for me, that I don't have enough money, but that how much is his transport coming down to Abuja? He told I hope you guys are following up what Phil is saying. He was only trying to render assistance. He was only trying to render assistance, not promise. Don't get it twisted. If you have ever seen a video or a stupid or a lame podcast on, on any social media platform that they are saying ranting nonsenses, they are all based of the same feathers. Echo shi amagbo salori igbaga. This over the phone or conversation or WhatsApp combo. Go on, if I'm asking you, if I'm asking you question, you know, you answer me back. You are just going. Are you a typewriter? Go on. No problem. Do you have wax in your ear? He told me that okay, his month is complete and that he will be coming down to Abuja, and that was on a Sunday evening that he showed up at my place in Abuja. Phil, can I ask you a simple question? Yes, please. All these things that you just said now, was it yes. via phone conversation or messenger? Some of it is on Tinder, some of it was phone conversation, some of it is on um, Facebook Messenger. Okay, go on, go on. I'm listening. So that was when, um, after that incident, that was when he came, he came to the house on Sunday evening. Note that that Sunday morning, a friend came to my house from a party. The person was at an overnight party. Came to my house to sleep. So by the time Zamani came to my house, he met the person in my house. Okay. Now, the person was supposed to go there to sleep. Because I already told the person that oh, Zamani was coming. By the time Zamani came, both of them suddenly started rapporting. They were talking, they were chatting, and all of that, and all of that. And the person was in my house till like around 9 p.m. or there. When two prostitutes meet themselves, so what do you expect? Koshi, continue, Jari. And I told the person, guy, oh, they're about to lock my gate. Please come and start going. And the guy was like that, oh, he cannot go home by this time. I told him, what do you want to do? That this person is in my room and it will be somehow that all of us are in that room together because I never told him that you were going to sleep over or he was going to meet anybody. And the guy was like, that he doesn't mind staying in the living room that in the early in the morning he can go because he was going to Lube and by that time of the night he said he's dangerous to start going back to Lube. And I told him, good and fine, feel free. He slept in the living room and I went back into the room and me and Zamani slept all that night. There was no light. Like that week we had issues with our transformer. So there was no light in the apartment and I don't want a generator. So there was no light, everywhere was all hot and stuff. Early in the morning, on Monday morning, the guy came back into the room to pick up his stuff and he and Zamani started chasing again. I started what? Um, tell the guy. They started what? Him and Zamani, now. him and Zamani started doing what again? They started drifting, they okay. were drifting again, like they were drifting, they were talking. Okay. I didn't know what they were discussing. Okay. And around 
12. I told him that me and Zamani are going out. Under your nose, two strangers, two visitors, they are talking, they are having conversation under your nose and you have no single idea what you are talking about. Are you this daft? Oh my goodness. Two Olo show, two prostitutes, you call your friend. They came to you. You were not even aware that they, they know each other and they started to discuss. Is that not enough reason to, for you to know that something will definitely happen? Oh gosh. Please come and be going home. Kami and Zamani were heading to the market and that was when that one left. And me and Zamani had um, Okay, that was when that one left, but me and Zamani didn't go out again. Okay, go on. Yes, so that's um, Monday evening. Both of us were together in the house. Me and Zamani were together in the house. Um, we made, um, we cooked that evening. I think it was rice and stew made that evening. Then Zamani told me that he wants to cook soup the next day, being Tuesday. That Tuesday morning, I went to work early in the morning. Um, while at work, Zamani texted me, oh, I get person for you. Would you like to meet the person? I was like, who is this person? He was like, that. it's one older guy that stays here. The person is around Guarimpa right now. And I told him that, um, he was like, that he doesn't like the person and all of that. And I told him that, okay, if the person wants to come, feel free to invite the person. Is your house when in your house? When the person came... Is your house, house in your house? He and Zamani were talking before Zamani introduced the guy to me that, oh, this is my friend, Phil, Phil, meet so, 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 and so person. Then after introduction, obviously the man wanted something to happen. But Zamani already told me that he's not interested in doing anything. Okay, so hold on. told the man that he has to go Hold on, home. hold on. He took my... Hold on, Hello? hold on. How did Zamani escape yes. with your laptop? What happened? What How led to that? Take, how did he take my laptop? What led to that? Yes. Um, on Tuesday evening, he, he, he went out with somebody, which I already told you. And I called him and told him that, guy, they lock my gates by 10. Please come back to the house. And he came back to the house and he was, it was a very long argument. I told you that the entire argument happened even on IMS. This guy is saying nothing but the truth. Well, if you people like believe or do not believe. That it was very, very long, except you. One thing I know about Phil is that he does not lie. I don't know where he started moving around with some riffraffs. Start reading. And you said you were not going to, you were not interested in reading long conversation. Long story short is that we had an argument Tuesday evening and Zamani told me that he was, that he feels trapped, that he wants to leave. And I told him that if he feels trapped and he wants to leave, he's free to leave. And he asked me, everything is on iMessage, thank God. He asked me what of his money to go back. And I told him that what you told me is that you were coming to come and meet someone who will give you the money to go back. And Zamani was like, eh, he hasn't met the person yet. So if he's leaving, I hope you people are following what this guy is saying, categorically. The morning, I have to give him the money. And I told him that I'm not the one that told you to leave. You were the one that said you want to leave. So if you're telling me you want to leave, it means you already have the money. Both of us slept off that night, woke up in the morning, everywhere was peaceful. I went to work. You see why it is not good to invite people to your house? This is one of the reasons you can see the 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 repercussion now. You can see. When I got to the office around 10 a.m., I realized I um, I remember that my madam asked me to bring my laptop, and I called Zamani. I wanted to tell him that okay, I'm coming back now to pick up my laptop because Zamani told before I left the house, Zamani told me that. I, he has to go to the market to buy some things that he feels like making jollof fries. And I told him, okay, good and fine. Left my key in the house, I went to work. Called him around 11, Zamani's line was saying busy. After calling him about three or four times and it was saying busy, I rushed back to the house. 
around 11.30, had to break down my door and came into the house and saw that my laptop and my iPad were missing. Hey. When I came to my flatmate, my flatmate said that he saw Zamani leaving and Zamani told him that me and him already have a discussion that he was leaving that day. So my flatmate didn't bother stopping him from leaving. Hmm? This video is just for us to see our mind, react to everything. And also, the first place is that Zamani is missing. We have been trying to reach out to Zamani. I do not know how it is. I have not been able to get towards him. WhatsApp is not reachable. Facebook, he messaged him. And I sent him a message back. Until now, I have not got, gotten a reply from him. I've been trying to reach him to know how to do. So first of all, I want to say that Zamani is actually missing for now. We still try. And once we can get contact with him, we'll bring him on the show. And also, again, we want to feel, if anybody has a lead towards the person I invited Zamani to Abuja, please, we want the person's contact. And so that we can um, have this person bring him on the show. And now, for the first time on QW Talk, we'll do a live session where everybody can come and ask their questions. As you ask, it will be. And as I'm sending your comments, I'm you, spend as possible. And also, Something that our YAS does not do. We will provide solutions. In the end, few properties must be returned. And in the end, Zamani must get somewhat of compensation if he truly was um, mis uh, maltreated. That's the right word, maltreated. That's what we we'll do. So I would like to move on to each other. Is there anything you'd like to add? What would you like to add to this? Because we're still going to talk about Oyas. So Oyas, we'll get your time today. If not, PG we sabi. If not, madness, no get it to us. What we're asking for, we're not actually. Because you, you, claim, you claim to be a saint. You are trying to paint yourself as a saint. You are not a saint. You are not a saint. We called you on our program. Oh, yes, if it's time to open you, now. let's call. Me, I'll call you out. I don't go to the corners. Please, next time, if you are making a video about us, call our names, call our show. We call that guy that was used for ritualism. Because we felt like the young girls were being used. They were being killed. It was a big problem in Nigeria here. Yeah. People were suffering. And young ones were dying. And we had somebody, a big case, that Jeff guy. Jeff, um, she does have, what was his name? But Jeff, that was kid that was used for ritual. That the man said that it's an oracle. Nobody can challenge him. We called the Oyas for our show. The Oyas should come and give us some insight on this show. At least for the young boys to learn. He was making a video claiming that he's helping the young boys. But we called you on our show. Come and help this young boy. Jeff, you, you said we should give you money first. That is money. You asked us to give you money to come and talk on our show and uh, 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 talk about the case, the case of that Jeff, to help the younger ones. And yet you call yourself, you make a, a video. Claiming to be the saint, you are helping the community. Which community are you helping? You are a joker, a comedian. I'll call you out now. In the last week episode, I didn't want to call anybody out. But most of you guys claim to be better than the rest. What we called for was a failure. We didn't want to call you out in the first place. If we wanted to call you out, we would have said it on our ritualist episode that we called Oyasu. And Oyas, he didn't uh, answer us. He asked us for money. But we didn't. We left you. We said hey, nobody is perfect in the community. We left you. But you now make a video because we asked for failure. You go on your, on your, on your comedy platform. You call it a crime fighting. I don't know how many crimes you have fought. How many kittos have been brought to justice? Every day, the, kittos, the number of kittos is multiplying. You and a lot of other NGOs who say you are fighting kittos, but yet the number of kittos is multiplying. But we decide not to, we never cut you guys out. We leave you guys to do your thing. You now have the guts to call us on your show. How saint, how saint are you? Are you actually helping the community? Are you, yeah, yeah, you've done some, I, I commend you for what you're doing. You, you are doing a, Good job sometimes. But your jobs must be called with our account. If you do some things, if you call people out to tap, people have to challenge you that we are the groups, we are the fact and figures. Did you give both sides a chance to express themselves? Many people, I can show, I was bring screenshots of people. Even if you go on our YouTube channel, the previous section, where people were calling you out, saying that you are you are the one-sided this, you are that. Go and read some comments there on Facebook, uh, on Facebook and uh, Insta, uh, WhatsApp, where I sent uh, videos, the video we made. People too were calling you out. And you do loop side journalists, how big journalists come in, insulting. Look at the video. Let me allow you to react. No, it's it's okay. It's, it's a kindly it's okay. caveat. It's okay to just give us what information have you got? It's okay to speak the way you feel. I feel there is a time for everybody to speak. Um, first and foremost, I just want to say that money. After he said what he said has not been seen. So if anybody knows if Zaman is doing good or okay, please just, we just want to know that Zaman is good because like first and foremost, if we in the community are trying to 
provide help or a solution. I feel the way JP Crime Fighter OAS is going about the whole thing with Keto Diary is a very wrong way. And I am so displeased with a lot of activists, even um, Matthew Bliss. If you know Matthew Bliss, the guy who is doing the documentary, um, the quiet documentary in Nigeria, also just took the poster and from Q, um, Keto Diaries and uploaded it in his status without anybody asking what happened, what about this other side you're getting. That is the first thing, that the process, the way they are handling or handling this case is an eye-opener to us in the community that JP Crime Fighter is a one-sided person who listens to only one side of the story and he makes a judgment and that is not how a fair ruling works. Fair ruling is where you hear the side, you hear the other side, and you make an executive conclusion on the whole matter and draw out the timeline of how it happened. First and foremost, I went to JP Crime Fighter's um, page and I saw the video he made. And from the video he made, we could see he was talking to the said Philip guy. And Philip says he called Zamani, he was just helping Zamani, that Zamani reached out to him and says he knew somebody in Abuja and he needed help of 6,000 Naira, that if he gives him the 6,000 Naira, he'll be able to find his way to Abuja. And when he sees this person, then he, he will have the money. First and foremost, everybody for this community knows that Zamani is a porn star. We know that Zamani's business is sleeping and sex for pay. There is no how, first and foremost, the state field can conclude that Zamani he was helping a rendering hand when you give Zamani 6,000 Naira. One, first and foremost, so he gave Zamani 6,000 Naira. Secondly, you slept with the said Zamani. Thirdly, this is the second time you were sleeping with Zamani. It's not the first time, it's the second time. So you, obviously the first time you met with Zamani, you slept with him and you paid for it. So this second time around, you just wanted to sleep with him and you just wanted to give him whatever you felt was what you wanted to give him. And that was how the situation escalated and Zamani took your stop. So Phil is at fault, Zamani too is at fault. And when we heard Zamani's side of the story, we did not draw a conclusion. We did not say Zamani is right or Phil is right or whatever. We reached out to Oyas. We, I sent him a message telling him, Oyas, okay, we, we want you to come more with your set, Philip, so that you guys can talk about this matter on the show and give us your own side of the story. But instead of, you know, responding to that message, what Oyas did was to call us names and insult us and telling us that uh, we are stupid. And that is not how to go about it. If you go back to JP Crime Fighters um, video, which some of you may see from the extract from our video, you will see the way JP Crime Fighter handles his clients is another disgusting thing to me. Because if you say you're helping somebody, how can you be helping the St. Philip of, of a person and then you're abusing him? If you watch the video, you will see that JP, P crime fighter was calling uh, uh, the Philip names. Far from that, he said, he, he said, "Is he a type fighter? Why is he shy? Why is he uh, uh, talking so fast? Are you a type fighter?" Later again, when <laughs> Philip said that, <laughs> yeah. no, uh, <laughs> later again, when Philip said that, oh, Zamani and that uh, other friends, they were talking secrets. He said, "Are you that daft? Are you that daft that you allowed the two strangers to be talking? You are daft. You are that." Is that you see, so which which brings us to the conclusion that JP Crime Fighter does a dictator kind of judgment where he just hears a story and just passes verdict as the king he is. He's seated on a throne, nobody dares to challenge it. So you see, that kind of judgment or that kind of public hearing or leadership is a very no, no, no. So this should make us go back to say most of the things JP Crime Fighter has been publishing as Kito's ritualists and the other things needs to be investigated because there are some people he has wrongfully accused. Nobody is a perfect human being. Yes, I know. But when you wrongfully accuse people or you are in error, the best thing you could do is to correct the error, not to be uh, um, disrespectful and be abusive. That is from JP. For uh, on Keto Diary, how do you just take a, a news from a source without even investigating? 
poor journalism is one thing I've you know, seen in this community. Too amazing. You know why I was happy? About it was that real. I was really, really happy that even in the comment section, they were not, they were actually, people that were against that asked for that day, how balanced was this your story? It was very much. And I was impressed. That's why I even wrote it in one of the comments. I think we should screenshot some comments. I don't know. I, some comments are hidden. Some of the comments yeah. are missing. I went to check it. Some are missing. I don't know why. But some are missing. I'm sure of that. Because that comment is not complete. Because I went on to ask it yes, to some are Yes, I asked Kito Diary, how did you how did you come up with this evidence and how did you even reach the other party to even investigate what happened at the other end? And what Kito Diary said was that um what did he say? Well who, who Kito Diary said was uh, that they were only stating a fact that Zamani has stolen. That was just a fact. You don't state see, a fact. See, let, me, let me just say that. Yeah. Because we are, we are trying to make this short as possible. Even if Zamani is told, yes, I do not support stealing. I, I said was Kito Zai. When Kito Zai was saying, oh, I'm defending, defending, I said, but are you blind to the fact that I said that Zamani committed a crime? That was the first thing I said when I commented. Zamani committed a crime. And yes, I agree that it's a crime because I, I caught Kito Zai out. But you guys don't like to be challenged. When if you even um, see the screenshot, the screenshot of the private message, but Kito Zai came to my DM. And I responded mm -hmm. back. And when they said they would block me uh, because of I was calling, adding likes, I said no. I said I made sure I chose my words carefully, not insult you guys. You are only block if you block me, or if a guy blocks me tomorrow, or JP Kaipat, or anybody blocks me. It's not that that being questioned. How true is this? You come and you just want. Yes, okay, Zamani's too. Uh, let me just get back to my thoughts. Fine, this is thoughts. Zamani's too. Yes, fine and good. But we need to have this culture whereby sex workers are protected in Nigeria. Not because we have a law, but because the country is in a, is, we have this law that will not protect the LGBTQI community. That doesn't mean that you just take sex workers, you treat them like trash, you, you take them, you, and that is the case them here. you chase them the, out the of case, the house. The case here we are trying to prove is that Zamani is a, case, uh, a sex worker and he was treated as trash and because the Philip did not even consider him as anything exactly. with OBS, so that is why they just banish or, or try to trash his image. And this is what we're saying. We're not saying that what Zamani did is good or not, but if Zamani had not taken those items, we would never have heard about this story. Zamani would have been sexually harassed and abused and he would have just died there. But because Zamani defended himself, because this is an act of self-defense by taking some things that are worth what he wanted for the price of the bargain he had with this Philip. So on my own part, Zamani did not steal. All he has, he says, yes, I have this item. Come, let us talk. And when we talk, I will give it to you. I did not steal it. It's with me in Benin. He did not deny it. He did not say he didn't steal it. He did not say he didn't take it. So Zamani did not steal. When you steal, you steal in an agenda to still sell it and possess it. But as long as Zamani says he still has this item, and if the said Philip comes up with the original baggage, he will give him back his item. That is not considered theft. I don't know who educated these people or how they got the training they get to to be judges over the community without even having common sense. Because you have to look into facts, you have to look into the situation that surrounds the fact, and you have to look into the verbal agreement that was made. Philippe knows that he made a verbal agreement with Zamani, and because it's not written down, that is why he's trying to deny it. And a reason that he knows that is the truth. That's so the thing. Even by, I found it disgusting. You know, yes, video. I said, uh, I know Phil. Phil doesn't lie. He never lies. As a moral judge, that you. Yo, it's even item. Almighty God, that liar. Almighty not. God. I think it is high time. That's why I said I, I don't care. So, uh, yes. Oh yes, I'm calling you out again. You like make a video. We we'll still continue to make a video. We we'll challenge each other till the end of this. I tell you again, you are not. You are not. Nobody made you lord or king over this community. You will come. You say you banish. I banish you for this. How I banish dare them. You That's why I if I banish, who made you king and this thing? You might do a good job. Some things that you some people that you call kids would have seen them. I said, yes. No, yes, but to be honest, had... and that was what I was telling, oh yes, in our private conversation, which I may show or which I may choose not to show, that he, he has gradually become the bully of the community. You don't blackmail the community because what you're doing now is blackmailing people. And if you can notice it, I feel this is my own instinct and this is my own 
kind of thinking and reasoning which is becoming clear with all those things that Oyesna has become a demigod and when he, he feels or he gets some gifting from some people because obviously Phil, Phil and Oyes have a relationship. They have something. So maybe uh, Phil has been good to Oyas of giving him money or bribe or something. That is why his hands and mouth are tied. And when he gets this gift, he supports whoever he supports and vanish and doesn't care about the rest of people because all he knows is that, okay, when he makes his judgment, nobody can challenge him. And if you even look at our video from last week, you will see somebody made that statement that, oh, yes, I've been asking for sex. And if you dare deny him sexual pleasure, he will tarnish your image. So, oh, yes, has a query to answer in the community. And that's just the truth. And that's just the truth. The fact that you, you know, some statements he made, I wonder, I say, how do people even call, when you like what you said about demigod, that's what he calls himself. He said, I'm the happy. All of you, I never reach. You know, you are fools. You are this, you are idiots. All sort of rubbish statement. I wonder, I said, who, who made this one a god? Or who made this one a judge? How saintly like are you? I say it here, that's the short to be posted. Why well, we called you to come and talk about ritual, ritualism? The guy that was a murdered by a ritualist in Abuja that just that guy, a young boy, a promising boy. We called you to the show to come and speak truth to power and make sure that at least let younger ones be informed about this. Let's have a good discussion. Let's have people that were busy asking us for money. How greedy can someone be? How, 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 uh, uh, what, that's, that's the word. Let me just use the word. I don't want to say, I don't want to be like, oh yes, I start using some hate, uh, hate speech. But how greedy can someone be? A committee member was murdered. More than in, like in, in cold blood, more than like a chicken. The person was even beating his chest. That yes, you can't challenge me. You can't. These all of us to come not together. Just, not just that story, because there are two other stories that I have seen Oya's page post. The first one was um the guys who were born in Onicha. He called them a clitoris and says they deserve to be burnt alive. I don't understand how we got to the position or we got to the stage where we begin to support jungle justice and i reported i i made a comment on on his twitter page and say no matter what those people did they don't deserve to be burnt alive or oh, yes blocked me because i said they don't deserve to be burnt alive if we we become the haters and the disgusting things we are running away that is one thing we should try to avoid, that we don't become the crime we are fighting. Now, the crime fighter has also become the crime. He has become a blackmailer in the community. He has become a demigod. And if you don't agree with him, he blocks you. But at the end of the world, they should open our community's eyes to understand that, one, nobody is above every other person. We should stop this idea where we are scared of somebody. Everybody is flesh and blood first and foremost, and everybody's time will come, no matter what happens. Secondly, if somebody is offering you help, how can somebody offer you help and the help the person is offering you is an insult, an abusive help? If somebody is offering you help and the person is, you know, abusing you, insulting you, dehumanizing you, I feel that you have the right to say, I don't want this help. And this is the time the community begin to come up and speak up and say, this kind of help Oyas is doing, yes, you started well, yes, what you're doing is good, but at the end of the whole day, if we don't say you are erring, then we are also on the wrong path. So at the end of this whole video, not to make this video long, we want to say we are not supporting Zamani for what he did, but one thing we've done is that we are calling Oyas and we are calling the Philip to come and say their own path. We've listened to their own path on um, JP Crime Fighters on page. I've listened to the whole video, and at the end of the whole video, I feel that Zamani and Philip have a misunderstanding and they should resolve it. Samani is not a thief, but um, uh, what is it called? Chito Dari went ahead and said, I'm stealing from the community. This is the first time we heard about this case. So you don't just call him a thief because the, it is only few that says he's a thief. This is the first case we are having about Zamani, right? Or have you heard about any case about Zamani? And I would just like to end by saying this. Even I know if... Uh... It's not really, I would not say a close friend, but someone I know just on social media too, that was posted as a kid. And then when I asked him what happened, he said, this is what happened. He said he came over, they agreed on a particular amount of money. I wish I can find that chat. I would still keep on looking for the chat. But he told me, he said, that man. But
He can counter that guy if I can still get it. So I can put it in frequent episodes too. He said this was what happened. He agreed with the man that, oh, they agreed on 20K. If he comes, I get 20K for his services. Only for him to come, give the man sex now overnight, hot sex. And in the morning, when it became time for money, the man gave him 8,000. And he said that, but our bargain was 20,000. He said uh, he thought he was joking. And he said, how can you say I'm joking about my money? That you, I gave you, uh, there was a service rendered. I should get paid. Because that guy would say, very, you over. Okay, then let me treat you. If you call this, if you call me joking, then let me treat this as a comedy. And he took some properties from his house. Yes, I did not support that thing. But I, I think I want, but on the other hand, that man was unfair, feeling like, oh, he can just do anything he likes with sex workers. But what would they do? You know how to shout and leave. Like, they take anything or they do anything. I'll go and call them. And this is kind of, this thing should stop in the community. Sex workers, right? They need to be their right. Whether you're a sex worker or sorry, because I used uh, JP Crime Fighter was calling prostitutes. And that's the reason why prostitutes are just trying to, well, to insult them and make sex workers feel like they are nothing, like they are less to nothing. Uh, like as if he's the saint. This episode, I don't want to make it too long, but this episode will keep on going, keep on talking about it. It's an ongoing developing story. I will keep on just to make this one short. But the next one will keep on making it short or talking about these things. And like I said again, we are open. The final thing I would want to say is that we are open. JP can fight that. If he wants to come or not, it's his own big it's his own problem. But what if he keeps making another video, we'll continue to make videos and talent him too. But what we want finally is that few and Zamani will come on this platform. If you doesn't want to show his face, it's left to him. We, uh, we can make voice, a voiceover calls, a voice calls in uh, Zoom. He can do only voice calls. He can come on Zoom and do only voice calls. But we'll try and make sure that Phil, uh, Zamani and Phil come here on this platform. We'll do a live section. And people come. People ask the questions. We to answer our questions. But people will come on YouTube, ask questions too. What happened? This and this and that. And make this as transparent as possible. And we have a resolve. It, it must be a resolve. Zamani must turn that Phil's property. And a few on the other hand, too, must compensate Zamani if he treated him badly. Of this evidence that he, he molested him and treated him like trash. We can't have that in the community. We can't be fighting. Community members should know better. They should know better. We should treat each other better. You patronize sex workers and you not treat them like trash. And then when you come, you go or keto diary, keto diary and oh yes, you start labeling people that oh you are this, you are that, you are this. No, let's have. I think that now committee members should be more wise. It should be fact and figure. Document everything so that when you come, you can, you can show facts and figures and everything. This will be a developer story. So we we'll still wait to, to get responses. We we'll still keep on trying to reach the money. Keep on trying to reach you. Please, if anybody has any information, please reach out to us in our DM. We would like for these stories to be resolved peacefully. And that's our offer. Few will talk for this episode. So he said we don't want over talk. So till next week, uh, please subscribe. Subscribe because this story is still going on on our back and it's still a developing story. And subscribe not to miss any um, future episode. But this story will get to the end of it. I'll make sure that it's as transparent, as open as possible. And please click the subscribe button. So when we go live on YouTube, you'll be notified too. And you'll be able to join and ask your questions too and see the balance side of the um, story. So thank you all for watching. Peace out. See you all later. Peace out.